In this documentary, we interview Sammy Dyer about her life and how it is to be a premature baby living in today's society. Hi, I'm Sammy. I'm 21. Um, I uh, was born prematurely and because of that, I am severely partially sighted. Born 26 weeks premature. Um, I was born, um, I was supposed to be born in September and I ended up being born in June. Um, I have quite a few health deficiencies. Um, I'm asthmatic, obviously I'm partially sighted, um, legally partially sighted. Uh, when I was born, I had to have heart surgery on my heart. Um, I have my, there's a stitch in my heart still now from where I had heart surgery. And in the first week of my life, I was had, had to have laser eye surgery on my eyes. Otherwise, I would have gone completely blind. I'd say my life has obviously been greatly affected by my sight. Um, um, I work in resale, so obviously there's certain things at work that I can't do um, because of my sight. Um, I've been penalised at workplaces for it before where um, I haven't been able to do certain tasks and it's ended up in me losing the job. Um, in my everyday life, things like crossing roads and <coughs> reading signs, um, dealing with money, sit, like if I'm supposed to be meeting someone, seeing them walking towards me is a bit of a tricky one because I can't judge distance very well or be a bit of a struggle moving out I would never be able to live alone because I can't really cook um, because I'm not very uh, like using an oven I struggle with I can use a microwave and I can use like the hob on top of the cooker and an air fryer but I can't really use an oven um, just because I struggle to see like the dials and stuff on it uh, so they'd have to like cook for me um, or at least show me how to do things. I don't think it would necessarily be doing them for me, but showing me how to do stuff. Um, and also obviously getting me around places like I have to be driven most places or, or walked to a bus stop. Um, probably would be a different person if I wasn't born prematurely. Um, mostly due to the fact that I would have been if I'd have been born in the September that I was supposed to be born, I would be in a different school year to what I was originally. So I would actually be, I'm actually considered younger. Like I am mentally younger than my age. Like I've developed a lot slower than a lot of people my age. Um, everything's just come a bit, I'm just being a bit behind on life. <laughs> everything's just come a bit, um, just comes a bit harder for me so <coughs> I think um, I would be quite different because I would never have met any of the people that I have in my life now um, I never would have had the opportunities that I've had in my life up to this point um, and I think if I if I had been born when I was supposed to be born I think it's hard because I feel like I could have I've always felt behind being the age I am now and if I feel like if I'd have been born then I would have felt more my age. Um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely have a good support system around me, um, family wise. Um, I have a very tight knit family, um, quite a small family actually, but I would say I have a good support system, like my mum has been through a lot <laughs> obviously giving birth to me is very traumatic <laughs> um but my whole family have been like amazing throughout my whole life basically um i've never felt like i've been an issue i've never felt like there's anything wrong with me um because they've always you know convinced me there's not sort of thing like i've never had a reason to think i'm different to anyone else